Anytime uh, you lose a guy like Brandon Schooler, man, I mean, uh, I mean, because he's obviously a huge uh, portion of a piece of our team, man. I mean, he's a, a leader in my group. Uh, you talk about special teams. I mean, the value that he brings to this team is is monumental, man. So, uh, just losing him and his presence, it obviously hurts. But I mean, that's just the name of the game, and we just got to be able to pick up the slack, and we got to be able to roll. I mean, the next guy's got to be ready, and so. We've seen Johnny out there both in the spring and now working at the Z. Delgado was behind Schooler on paper, at mm -hmm. least at the end of spring. Mike has worked primarily in the slot. He's talked about working outside. What is that kind of pecking order right now between those three to, to fill that Z? Right now, we're just trying to we're trying to work out the kinks. Right now, we're just trying to let guys compete uh, and see who, obviously who's going to rise to the rise to the top. I mean, uh, guys are you know are set out of position right now, but I mean. Once we get to a game time situation, I mean, we'll start kind of putting the pieces in, in the right order as far as who's going to play here and who's going to play there. So right now we're just trying to develop, you know, uh, you know, the depth as far as, you know, who's going to be the guys. You know, another young guy like Brian Addison, I mean, he's a guy that's stepping up um, and he's making some plays. But like I said, right now, I mean, that, 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 that board could shuffle, you know, a lot, you know, coming to the first game. So right now I'm just trying to develop, you know, uh, some unity within the group, and then obviously develop some chemistry and guys that can step up and just be consistent. You mentioned Addison. Could you foresee a personnel pairing where you could go? I mean, you could go real big. You could go Addison, Jawan, and maybe Cam McCormick once he gets back. I mean, sure. You could go real. Could you foresee that? And where does Jawan kind of fit? Because if, if Addison's at the X, is Jawan playing the slot? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, the things that go on in our little war room, as far as you know, the you know the packages and the planning, who we're going, you know, who we're going to put in, speed length I mean we, we do all that so uh, we're excited about that I mean as far as you know we can have a length package like you said we can have a speed package man so uh, or we can have our little jackrabbits out there so that part is fun that's you know that's going to come into play but right now like I said just you know develop the, the, the continuity and the chemistry and you know the guys just being consistent that's the main thing we're trying to develop right now. You felt versatility too in terms of a lot of guys have said they're being used at the slot and also on the outside to kind of get used to if you want to mix and match? Yes, absolutely, man. So, uh, and like I said, there are some guys, you know, right now Micah is being trained to go a little bit outside. Hasn't done much at practice, but, I mean, he is being trained. I mean, I got those guys. You know, the biggest thing for us is just learning the concepts. You know what I mean? Don't just get stuck on a position, right? Learn the concepts so now, you know, you are able to go outside or inside and be able to do those different things. So, uh, right now, again, as we get into these scrimmages and we start getting a little bit closer, We'll kind of start putting those pieces together. But right now, like I said, guys are just at their spots. And, you know, we're just trying to let guys play and let, 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 it, let the chips fall. Johnny's been a guy who's been on the outside always. I mean, he said he's going to move in a little bit of slot. Yep. Delgado we've seen outside, but he can also move in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Johnny was a guy, I mean, I was really excited, especially if, was, if Schooler was still healthy. Um, you know, he was a guy that definitely could move in the slot and, you know, uh, provide some versatility in there. But also Juwan, I mean, we move him to the slot too because now that's a big target. So. Uh, there's just different packages and then the way we just structure things. I mean, it's it's good for us. And like I said, and I think it's really going to be really good for Herbert, you know. You mentioned scrimmages. On Saturday, you have your first one. What would be a successful scrimmage for your position group? Uh, you know, right now I'm just looking for, uh, you talk about just the consistency as far as doing the right thing, uh, assignment, alignment, all the little small things, blocking, effort. You know what I mean? Those are, That's always huge for me. And then obviously catching the ball, making plays, you know. When those plays present itself, catching the ball, executing. But uh, – you know, I just want to kind of come out and play a clean scrimmage as far as, you know, guys being on guys and, and play at max effort. That's what I'm looking for. Juwan in the slot seems like a interesting matchup for whoever's there. It's scary. I mean, just like you said, I mean, his size and, you know, he's he's got some twitch with his length. And so that's the him and B.A. And so that's what makes it scary. And you talk about, you know, if they want to put that nickel guy and per se, most nickels are more the shiftier, smaller guys and stuff like that. I mean, how are they going to play us? Are they going to really – Play their nickel there, or they're going to try to match it and maybe uh, create a mismatch on the outside. I don't know. You know what I mean? So that's why we love doing it. JR and Lance, how they're coming along. So JR, second team, in one of the earlier practices. Sure. Lance, I know, has been dealing with the hamstring the last couple of days, it looks sure. like. So just but how they look so far. Young guys are coming along. They're coming along. Uh, like I said, Lance had the injury, so he's uh, he's been out for a little bit. JR, like we're putting him in situations. We want to see, we want to test those guys right now. You know, do they have the poise? Do they have the composure, you know, to come play right now? So they're being put to the test. Uh, and so, like I said, uh, they're, they're, they're coming along. They're, uh, like I said, they're progressing. And uh, like I said, we'll see once we get into those live situations. But they are progressing. I want to ask you about 
recruiting from on is that I know you can't talk about specific guys. Though sure. I'm sure you're quite excited sure. about one in particular. Yeah. Um, but yeah. how is the class, from your perspective, shaping up? It seems not full, but with the amount of wiggle room you guys have left to add, is where does receiver rank as far as priorities for what's left to add to this class? Uh, like I said, uh, you know, if we could get one more valuable piece, man, I think we're sitting in really good shape. I think uh, what we've done so far, uh, where we're sitting, you know, uh, we like we like what's ahead of us, and so if we can continue to uh, maximize that group and add that potential into that room, man. It's going to be scary. In general, what does an Oregon receiver recruit look like to you? Uh, I mean, it's just you talk about from stature wise. I mean, it could be all over. I mean, I like to have the versatility within that receiver group. So you talk about length, you talk about speed, you talk about uh, a guy who's sure-handed. I love all those intangibles. So uh, it, there is no particular what does it look like to me as far as the body stature now want a guy who's obviously explosive make a guy miss in space and you know obviously can make those big contested catches so Brendan was known as a run blocker how does how does the rest of your guys kind of step up and fill in for that I think that's kind of an area he really was strong in well I mean he was you talk about run blocker I mean he's probably the best he was the toughest guy in our room you know what I mean uh he wasn't scared to, to dig out safeties backers I mean he loved that I mean obviously his background as a safety right Obviously, it's just kind of in his DNA, but, uh, you know, there are other guys that are coming along. And then, like I said, there's some tough physical guys as far as Johnny and Juwan that aren't afraid to do that neither. But, like I said, his just his presence, man, and how he did things, I mean, uh, it's priceless. Man. Yeah.